Hi all, um, as you can see, I'm sort of losing my voice. Um, and on top of that, uh, my left eye is messed up. I got something in it, I don't know what. But I wanted to talk to people about um, kind of what I saw at um, the Bernie Fetterman rally at City Hall in Philadelphia. Um, and a little bit of the story I will be talking hopefully to Billy T Taylor a little bit later it might be in a couple of weeks I know that's um, a little late but I'm trying <clears throat> I'm trying to let a little bit of time pass uh, maybe depending on his avail availability and my availability my avail my availability um, for an interview because I think that maybe what he spoke about or was protesting, which I couldn't really hear. I know he had an interview earlier this week um, that I wasn't able to hear for whatever reason or just didn't know where to find because there wasn't enough information directly available. Um, I'm going to try to basically understand what he was protesting and why and what he had hoped to get from that uh, hopefully because I, I like I said I think there could be something there uh, that's my take on that um, and the, my take on the event was lately I've been feeling like the and you maybe I'm wrong and you can comment about this if you want, but I've been feeling the burning your bus movement is a little bit tribalist. Um, may, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, maybe we are pushing Bernie in the right direction on whatever it is that he needs to be pushed in, but I, I, like, okay. There's, I think, this one presidential candidate that has announced a platform. No, I'm already talking 2020, by the way. He's announced a platform for universal basic income. I don't think that Bernie has. And, well, um, I don't know. I mean, do we want to vote for him? Do we vote for Bernie? Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be a show. I'm trying to be a little realistic. Um, that being said, I'd like to say also that <coughs> I ran into a she was sitting on a bench just outside of City Hall. It was very nice to see her. Um, I ran into a couple of other people that are great people. So, um, that was nice. And it was not, it was accidental, completely accidental. What else do I want to say? Oh, shit, my eye hurts. Um, hold on. So, This Sunday, I'll actually also be talking with um, a candidate uh, who was endorsed by Philly DSA, and uh, her name is, oh, you know what, I won't say her name, but um, it'll be on my channel, uh, the Inform Forum, which I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on that channel, and kind of why I decided to go with that name, um, coming with who I am and the way that I have grown up. Grown up. Um, and this uh, totally um, gives you access, not, not access, <laughs> God, I hate that word. Um, it lets you know like a little bit about me. Um, personally. So, like, I, I've lived in the 
Philly suburbs my whole life. I'm very, very privileged, very lucky, but um, I've been very sheltered. And kind of um, in some strange way, repressed from having the ability to no, that sounds bullshitty. <sighs> I guess what I'm saying is people in my life, my mother specifically, haven't wanted me to find the information or look at the information. I, I And just for point of reference, my mom has actually thrown out books of mine lied about it but she has and for this for like the inform form is a way for me to actually speak with people that have a different experience than me or a different idea than me about or different something where I can learn from and kind of understand what they know. Maybe not outright, but we can have that dialogue. <coughs> oh my god. I'm dying. Um, but, um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. And I hope that you can kind of understand that it is political, but it's also not political. Uh, like, I might be talking to, I don't know, a librarian who deals with data. That's me. Um, I might be talking to... A homeless man. I might be talking to people who who don't get a chance to have that platform that they need to have. And I'm doing this because of my own privilege so I can allow myself to understand and other people like myself to understand. Because I think what we have to realize in this movement is that we all have our blinders on in some, in some way, shape, or form. Some of us more than others. And sometimes it can be hard to kind of see through see through them. And it takes other people to help us point them out. And please if I'm if I'm missing something, and point point it out, because that's the only way people learn. That's the only way anyone learns. And it might not be outright. I'm <coughs> wow, I'm dying. Like people, I'm like I'm just speaking from my own experience. I'm a very dense person. I'm a very stubborn person. It takes me some time to process things other, unlike other people. And I guess what I'm saying is please try to bear with me as I do that. I am trying to understand all of the little different aspects of this, of just... of the show, it hasn't really fully taken shape yet. I don't really have a, have a Patreon on it. And I said time that it comes on, I'm a very impromptu person. Um, things for me happen on the whim. Uh, that's just me. So if, if you can like understand that, we're down. But um, actually it looks like 
I don't have enough paper. Hold on, you guys. Uh, okay. But, um, that's all I really wanted to say is thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Um, and if you know anyone or think of, can think of anyone that I should reach out to just so I can kind of like understand, let me know and yeah, I'll reach out. Okay. Um, thanks. I'm going to go do some homework at 2 a.m. Cool. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.